Hey everyone, do you remember this um, experiment that I did? I just took it out a little box there and I uh, thought I'd try it on again. And it works fine, as you can see, it continues to work. This is the best model that I made. Um, that's because I changed this, I didn't use a, a wire there, but I used like a little bit of a thin strip of tin and it works fine. So what I want to do is I want to use this experiment to try it with these here and see if it works. Now, I'll be honest with you, I'm going to show you what I've tried to do here. Um, this is what I tried to do here. I got this and I, and I got this and everything else and I just couldn't get it to work that good like I wanted to work with this particular coil. I tried everything here, uh, trust me. So I'll scrap that one for now and I'm going to try it with this thing here because this is this doesn't take a lot of voltage to make it work. Okay guys, this is my first experiment with this thing I've took. I took this off here, which will touch that to switch it on and off. Took that off and I've connected it to the uh, collector, which is then going through um, the emitter, going to the negative. Oops, sorry. Negative here, as you can see. And then the positive, this one here positive, is going directly onto the other side of this coil, which is on this side, if I just show it to you. There it is. So there's no battery there, as you can see. And I'm amazed, because my idea to get this working with this triggering device is actually trying to work. So I'm going to adjust, adjust this here, uh, LEDs, to see if I can get it right so it continues to run. Oh, the other way then. No, it's not working. So I have an idea now. I know what I'm going to do is that's taking too long a cycle to come back around. So I'm going to connect the same lead here, um, sorry, the same lead here, which is going to number 11 or something here. I'm going to connect it to another one on that side so, it, so it's double. Give me a second. After about a million experiments, I finally got it going. Look at it working. And that's working through this uh, transistor as a switch. And uh, as you can see, the battery is not connected at the back here. Let me. Okay, let me turn that. The battery is not connected at the back here. And it's working fine. Now, that's what I want to achieve with this experiment and I'll be honest with you, it took me forever to do it. And I've got I've got the uh, the switching device connected through the transistor like I said and it's finally working. So I'm really pleased with this experiment. So what I've done is I used the uh, transistor as a switch but I could not use this circuit here. I tried so many experiments here, tried to connect two wires across so it uh, switches on twice one thing that I could not make it work whatsoever so I'm just using this side of the circuit board here um, forgetting the LED display side and I'm just I just put it to there where the transistor has been switched on and off by this uh, LED when it flashes and that's what's triggering it on and off so I will just do the LED to make sure it triggers the right time by this and as you can see the experiment is a success that's what I want to achieve I want to achieve something that I could use without using the wires to touch um, touch this crankshaft there without using that just electronic device switching it on and off now I'm sure somebody will have an easier way of doing this um, by all means, please leave a comment. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. I'm very pleased with this, indeed. Looking really fine. So I'm going to adjust this now. <laughs> I bet you I mess it up a bit. 
Let's see if we can make it go a little bit faster. No, see, I knew I'd mess it up. So, okay, guys, the extra bit didn't work there when I tried to adjust this here, but never mind. But you can see that it actually did work, and uh, I just want to say the reason why it's all grey and kind of thing, apparently the sun has got like an orangey glow around, around, the, around it today, and I can't see the sun, so if you've seen the sun today, well, good luck to you. What's the date today? It is 16th of October. Hi guys, um, I just want to mention a few things there, and I want to apologise. Uh, but the thing is I'm experimenting I'm learning as I'm going along and I didn't need this side circuit my you know my train of thought was wrong I didn't need this side circuit at all I just needed a simple LED flasher circuit which is adjustable and any simple LED flasher circuit would have done the job so that's the first thing thank you for thank you for watching my video anyway and the second thing guys um, I found that the transistor didn't switch off 100% just cut off like that uh, and then switch on again it was like it was still supplying voltage uh, quite a bit onto this because this doesn't take a lot of voltage and current and so it started to melt a bit and inside started to this is plastic so inside of it started to melt a bit and so it wasn't really ideal for this particular model there but I suppose you could make a model that will take that voltage and um, take that current and wouldn't melt and still work the the thing but the all in all guys I just wanted to experiment a different kind of switching device which I did it did work for a little while I'm really pleased with it thank you for watching guys and also um, you know give us a comment or something like that yeah I don't know if anybody else can see this Sun today but I'll tell you what that is a bright orange, a very bright orange sun there. I don't know if you can see it on the video. But uh, very grey sky, a very bright orange sun. It looks beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Have you seen the signs of times today? Have you seen the sun? Yeah, I was, I was just going to tell them. The sun? I was going to tell them about the sun and the orange glow around it. I have never seen that before. What do you think it means? I have no idea. You don't think it's the end of the world, do you? Maybe it is, I don't know. What, what are we going to do? I don't know what we're going to do. Oh, might, might as well tell them. Subscribe. Subscribe right now because you might not be here tomorrow. And like it.